What's going on guys, Fit Lubin here. Today I'm gonna be showing you my seven by 12 cargo trailer that I'm turning into a toy hauler. Uh, this is gonna be part one. It's all gonna be divided up on different things I do to it. This is gonna be based on the electrical system. So here we go, we're gonna start right here on the outside. As you can see right now, I just got a, a power adapter on it. This right here is an inlet, as you can see, 30 amp, 125 volt, grounded, of course. Get this off Amazon. This is uh, the same brand for the inlet and the adapter. This adapter is for whenever you're somewhere you ain't got a, a 30 amp connection at. That unscrews, waterproof. Pull that out and there you go, you got your 30 amp RV inlet. As you can see, all this is here is since I don't have a plug on the outside of my house to go from 30 amp, all I got is a normal house plug. So it's only bringing out about 15 amp right now. That's basically just an adapter, that's all that is. Basically. Push that back in there. You got a green light comes on when you got power. And you just screw this back down. And that will waterproof it. That was about 30 bucks right there. 15 for that, 15 for this. We'll go ahead and take y'all inside. Alright, don't mind the mess. I ain't got no cabinets built yet, so that's why stuff's everywhere. So, this is uh, temporary. Don't pick it apart too bad in the comments. I gotta get back here and paint the wall, so it's just kind of sloppy right now. So, that's where it comes in. We got 10 2 running to the panel for 30 amp. Two breakers, one for receptacles, the other for lights. We got one receptacle that runs down here. This is this GFI. And it's running through that to this, so this is also GFI. That controls that. All right, now I got two 12-2 Romex wires running out of the panel. One is going to run up to this receptacle box. I'm going to have GFI in there. And it's going to run back there also to another receptacle box. I'm going to have uh, four receptacles up in the ceiling. So if you're out here working or something, you can just plug up right, right here and work right there. Same thing for up here. This here is basically for uh, the mini fridge and microwave and stuff that's going to be here on the countertop. So that other wire that runs up out of there, runs over, runs down to here, feeds to this switch. I'm going to run my outside lights and my inside lights off this, well not this switch, but these uh, two switches that will be here. The uh, switch leg, leg runs out of there, comes up to here, and splits off for that light box there, and in the middle, right here. It's all temporary because I still got to paint, so it's, nothing's attached yet. Um, this is just spliced together right now. I don't have a middle light. I keep meaning to pick one up. I keep forgetting. And uh, no, that's not how you do a grounding splice. That's just temporary. But it works just to split the power off the two ends. Right here, I'm going to have another light here. That's going to run outside to about you know, this height. I'm going to have an outside LED. So when you're sitting outside, you got some light there too. Maybe even think about running two lights or something off in the back. But we'll see. But yeah, that's um, everything I can think of for the first video for electrical. It's uh, fairly basic, but it's uh, taken me quite a bit of time running the stuff and tucking it back behind the wall then running it, fishing it down the wall to there. But it's got a lot more work to do to it. This is all just temporary. As you can see, I'm 
really trying to pay attention to detail. I'm painting all the metal boxes the same color as the walls. It's, uh, I guess still got to touch them all up and stuff, but for now, just temporary, just to get receptacles and lights in here so I can work is my goal, just so I can get this built. Uh, it's going to be cabinets and stuff, mini fridge, sink, and um, basically get all this stuff out of the floor so I can continue painting and doing stuff like that. But if you enjoyed the first video, uh, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to have plenty more videos up of uh, everything else that I'm going to do for it. I'm going to have another video up soon once I get this framed in the rest of the way. And I'm going to frame in another huge cabinet up above. But anyways, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, catch y'all later. I got some Kool-Aid to drink.